Hello everyone, as you can see, we are in my kitchen right now again because today we're cooking manok adobo and my family have never ever eaten it that's why I decided that I want to cook it so they can try it I'm really excited to make it however, I have never cooked it this is my first time ever cooking it and I believe that everyone has their own version of adobo so let's see how about this and obviously I have a little help there it's really interest in the manok. One of the advices that I read over the internet is to marinate it. So that's what I'm gonna do because I wanna get the best flavor out of that manok. So let's take a look. Manok is not for you. So we got the manok here and to marinate it, we basically need toyo, suka, asukal, bawang, and paminta. They recommend to have the whole grains of pepper, but I only could find this kind of paminta. Mm. Sorry guys, I know for some of you it might not be legit. We work with what we got, right? If you have paminta like mine, which is grinded, well then you add a half of it. And yeah, I just feel like I could add a bit more because I have a lot of chicken. I got four pieces of legs of chicken. So one third of cup of toyo. We got the one fourth of suka. I think it already start to look like a double color. Now a sukar. This garlic is so tiny that I think I will add up a bit more than just three gloves. I'm just using my nails. Whenever oh my god, my head ah. Whenever uh I look so funny right now, but it is what it is. Whenever I'm opening garlic and it's like fresh garlic and still like has the layers, when I struggle I just to use my nails to cut it. The only I so useful. I don't know how to mix it now. Actually, I just realized that I made a mistake because in the recipe I should mix all of the marinated ingredients first before putting the chicken there. And now I have to strap <laughs> because I didn't do it properly. Don't be like me. I follow the recipe. And now you can just watch me struggle. Actually, I like the color. The color is like a double color. So I got the manok ready and I will just let it sit in a fridge for like an hour to an hour and a half. I just want to make sure that it will have the good, good flavor in it. So now I'm just putting it in the fridge and let it rest. It's been already some time that adobo manok been marinating. So we can take out our chicken. Yeah, so we got the manok. I need to open that one and put it inside the pot to fry it a bit. I hope it do carry some flavor. <laughs> this is the biggest pot that I got and I hope that all of that manok legs, thighs, whatever, this whole leg of manok will fit here because I got four pieces and I need to fry them a bit. Hopefully it will work the way it should because it needs to be golden brownish color before I really start to boil it with all of that marinade. So let's, let's try. I think it's heating up. We get the manok. Here, one of it I will not fit in. I just add the leftover of the marinade and some more water and now we need to add up the hongan laura and i think that's the moment where we also add onion even though it's not written there and i will add some more heat so it will cook faster we let that one boil and in the meantime i do the onion i will let that manok boil because that's what the recipe says let it boil and then cook it under the cover for 30 minutes so that's what we're gonna do but first some recipe has onion and this one basically that i wrote down for myself did not and i'm just thinking should i add it or not i'm just confused but i think i'm gonna add it up just for the flavor the shorter i do with it the better for my eyes Okay, 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 I'm done. It's been just a moment with me and the onion and I already have teary eyes and I really don't like that onion. It's from our own garden, guys, but this one is a killer. So time to cover and lower the heat. 
I let this bad boy be here. I will set up like 30 minutes alarm here. I guess I don't have any other timer than the oven. So this is what I will do. In the meantime, when our adobo manok doing its best to just become the real delightable, I will cook a rice. And here I got a fun story for you about the rice and about Polish people because do it a bit differently. However, I'm not following that one anymore because I changed my approach since I met Jericho and he told me how to cook rice in a proper way. But back then, I would buy this card box rice that inside you got four sachets, in pla like a plastic sachets of rice, 100 grams each. Without washing or doing anything, you just cook it in that plastic, you boil it because the plastic has like tons of little holes. So you cook it and most of the time, as Polish people, we overcook it. So our rice is always overcooked. But now I know a bit different way and that's how we're going to make our rice today. This is how I buy rice right now. I believe that for a Filipino, this one is just a little bit. Now I'm gonna wash it. So nowadays when I cook rice, I definitely do it a bit differently, especially the idea of washing rice. I had no idea that you should wash your rice. I know that some of you guys know how to measure the water for the rice with your finger, like a finger method of checking the water level. It never works for me to do the rice method finger thing measuring water. No, it doesn't. The time has come and the adobo right now, it's been 30 minutes of cooking. Now I just need to take off the lid, rise up the heat so the adobo can become more saucy. And also the rice is ready, so I will show you in a moment. It really does look like a double. So it looks like there's a lot. Ha ah, ah, ha 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 I touch it. Okay, so we let it boil like that for I don't know how long until it reduces, I guess. We got the double guy. It's time for the flavor test. Let's try if it will oh, remember the sheet. Came on. Oh. I would like it saltier. Let's try again. As you can try, so you can try it just in case. It's good. But still, I like salty things. That's why I would add more salt. But I don't want to traumatize my family, so I will just let it be the way it is. But for me, a bit saltier will be perfect. I think it's enough of cooking out the sauce. I'm not sure, though. So this is how the adobo looks so far and I think I'm gonna keep it that way. The most of it already boiled out so I think it's all good. And I'm super ultra mega hungry right now but I'm waiting for my family to just get back and I am starving. I really want to eat that adobo. I was thinking about it, but I don't know. I don't know. The adobo looks so lovely. Right, Lydia? Rice. Rice. Okay. Manok. Manok? Manok. 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 Ogólnie danie nazywa się adobo. Adobo. Mhm. Mano adobo. A mnie, no jak robiłaś to? Kurczaczka, smażyłaś, gotowałaś? Mm. Jak... Najpierw trzeba było go trochę przesmażyć. Mhm. Mm a potem wlałam całą tę marynatę i trochę wody, żeby go wakić, żeby się ugotował. A może spróbować mięsko? Takie Oczywiście. Mięsko nie wiem. Tylko nie wiem, czy nie lepiej by ci było spróbować go y, zaraz pod skórą. Bo wtedy on przeszedł tym aroma aromatem. Rozumiesz? Tak. Tu pod tym zaraz, tu weź tyle, no. Zaraz pod tym. Hmm, to zaraz już Masara. 
Jak ci smakowało? Było pyszne. A czy jeszcze to pełne po tym najadłeś się, czy nie? Znaczy ja nie jestem syty, to nie chodzi o to najadłem się kochani tak. Okay. That would be it for today. Thank you for watching. Sending a lot of love to you and see you next time.